I'm the sort of person that finds solace in reading, having a coffee, sitting in nature, and watching wholesome animation. Plus, I exclusively listen only to lo-fi beats to chill slash study to. No, just kidding on that one. Regardless, I'm a mostly soft, wholesome boy, and I like to try and keep it that way. So, it might come as a bit of a surprise that I've been playing a lot of 2016's Doom lately. The only two other R-rated games that I've ever played are Metal Gear Solid V and the first Last of Us. I feel a little like Animal Crossing's Isabel in some of the recent crossover fan art in this situation. Bit of a fish out of water. And yet, it's incredibly good. Not perfect, but a whole damn hell lot of fun. I've been wanting to try to play an FPS like this for a while, seeing as most of my adventure and shooting experience comes from third-person adventure games like Uncharted. The strafey, jumpy, punching movement here works great with the style of game that it sits in. It took a little getting used to, but once you are, it becomes incredibly dynamic and flowing while attempting to plow through hordes of demon monsters. It does take a bit of skill though, which is tough when you're kind of crap at games like me. I'm mostly just a button masher with zero technique, which is why I really don't like fighting games. There's lots of big chunky guns, each with their own specific uses that assist with certain enemies. Exploring rewards you with upgrades, stat increases, and power-ups. Doom also uses the much talked about glory kill mechanic, where once an enemy is staggered, you can brutally take them out via melee to drop a surplus of health and ammo pickups. The result is sometimes a little Christmas lights diarrhea, as girlfriend reviews would say, but it's a genius way to reward the player with well-executed moves. This is even more prominent necessary when you're low on health and taking down a singular enemy can be the difference between finishing the whole area or instant death. It goes without saying that this is a pretty gory and bloody game. Oh look, there's been a ritual sacrifice going on over here. Nice. But to some degree, there is also a slapstick or ridiculous element to this. It doesn't take itself too seriously. The phrase, it knows what it is, gets thrown around a lot. That's not a critique. Doom definitely knows what it is, and doesn't aspire to any existential soul-searching story. What little story there is, basically revolves around opening an interdimensional portal to hell on Mars, allowing a deluge of demons to pour out, and you have to slay them all. That's it. And the soundtrack, oh my god, the soundtrack, is an absolutely perfect fit for carving a path through hundreds upon hundreds of demons. Mick Gordon has done incredible work here. It just makes you want to pick up your guitar and shred. There are chumpy riffs and face-melting bass lines. Plus, its dynamism is great. There are slow twangs while exploring areas, a build-up while enemies appear, and a breakdown into head-banging goodness whenever you tear down a gore nest and subsequently spawn tens of enemies. Also, everything in this game is weirdly thick. It's just chonky town. The environments, the platforms, the enemies, and even the Doomslayer himself. I mean, just look at that cake. It also reminds me a little of a certain popular group of thick, fridge-sized muscle men from a few years back. And also, strangely enough, jumpy multiplayer shooter Quake, which I used to play back in the day in a friend's computer room. Yeah, remember those? In fact, I looked it up, and that makes total sense, because both Doom and Quake were developed by id Software. They just love those big boys. If I have any critique of Doom, it's that it feels much like that earlier noughties generation of shooters. Some of the gameplay is decidedly previous gen, and a lot of the textures don't always load perfectly or look up to scratch for what you'd expect from the PS4 era. Plus, some of the platforming areas are a little janky when you can't exactly see where you're aiming your character and basically headbutt into the path, particularly compared to something in third person, like what I'm mostly used to. Having said that, if you need a stress relief from this absolutely insane year, Doom would be a perfect fit. There's no head-scratching story or massive open world to accidentally get lost in doing 20 unnecessary side quests. It just gets what it needs to get done very efficiently. There's almost a refreshing immediacy and simplicity to that. It's not necessarily wholesome, but it is a massive hit of gleeful insanity right to the eyeballs. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged.